Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. Tinubu bans political groups in Lagos as Cold War with a regular war since. Tinubu, a national leader of the whole Progressive Congress APC, has dissolved all political groups in the state following a cold war between him and Ralph Aregbe Shola, his associate. The decision was announced at the meeting of the Governor's Advisory Council, G GAC, in Lagos on Tuesday afternoon. Aregbe Shola was accused of launching political groups in the state without the knowledge of Tinobu, who is regarded as the political leader. There are insinuations that Aregbe Shola, former governor of Oshun State, is interested in running for president in 2023, an ambition that may pit him against his former boss, who is also believed to be interested. The mandate group made up of Tinobu's loyalists was relaunched by Aregbe Shola recently, but news directs understand that the former Lagos governor was not in the picture. So people, what is your own take about this? All what I know is that uh, even if Tinobu wants to uh, become the president of Nigeria, nobody will vote for him because we all know that Tinobu is a chameleon. He's one of the prominent leaders that is causing problem in Yoruba land. I'm telling you. And as for Aregbe Shola, I don't think even if he runs for president, I don't think Nigeria will vote for Aregbe Shola because he is not fit for that position. You know, people were saying that Arab Shala for president, who Sabi Ham for Nigeria? Nobody Sabi Ham. I tell you, nobody know Arab Shala. Hopeless hope that is realizable only in Oshun State, which is poised to become state of Oshun. I laughed in French, even to Nubu's self, who will dash in president. Exactly what I said. We shall wait and see to 2023 when the bubbles will burst. A regular run for president, no wonder Nigeria is like this. This is what we are getting from our leaders. Power past power. I'm telling you, they don't fight to develop the citizens. But they are fighting because of their own selfish interest. They are fighting because of what they will get from the position if they have been elected. And now... Recently, Natinubi has been coming out with so many, so many uh, styles. But whether we, whether, whether, whether we like it or not, Tinubu will not be the president of Nigeria. Because nobody will vote for him, except if they want to do a military style, a do or die half years alone. And that's the thing. May God help us in this our governorship, in this our Nigerian leaders race. You know, people were saying that, please Nigeria, let all the leaders of government, House of Reps, Senate, leaders, APC Chairman Adams, Oshiamole, and APC leaders, Tinubu, prove to all Nigerians that yes, there is someone called President Buharis, if he is still alive on June 12th, Nobody will come out and start revealing their, what they have been keeping years back. Because, of course, they would have told them that if you say it, there is always a repercussion for it. So, but, so nobody is ready to come out and say the truth about President Muhammad Buhari. That's the thing. But the problem is that it seems Nigeria is another planet. Inside planet Earth, Nigeria and human animal devil leaders and Rebbe Shola and Tinubu, they are not even qualified as becoming the president of Nigeria. They are not. The only thing that I'm thinking is that maybe they just want to hear people's opinion about their intention. Because phytons are not allowed to rule. 
I'm telling you, they are not. Instead, they should let the cow continue. At least we are drinking small, small milk, but getting attacked by our, by our cow horns. But the thing is that we cannot manage snake because Tinubu and Egbeshola, they are just like a snake. So nobody will allow such to happen. And even the one that we have now, the, our present administration, we are waiting for the administration to hang. People are living in suffering. People are dying in suffering. We don't want this anymore. And the thing is that, whether we like it or not, all those people, the only thing that they are after is that they are, they are all after powers and money. That is the problem we are facing. They don't care about poor people. They don't care about your situation. They don't care about the citizens. And it is high time that Nigerians stand against those old cargo thieves. The set of people that embezzles money, the embezzlers, the corrupted politicians that are using us to reach their own selfish goals. It is high time we stop them because this is, it, it, this is now getting too much. You know, people were saying that Tinubu still have intention of becoming Nigerian president. Come 2023, at what age, please? Who do Nigeria offend? Let's do away with God for that reason. If Nigeria should move forward, let's do away with it. Because Arabia Shala will be worse than Buhari in terms of religion's extremism. Because he is a religious fundament fundamentalist, a religious trouble who creates in, in his own state, who creates trouble in his own state. Before he became governor of the state, we never had anything called religious quarrel, but he came with all forms of religious propaganda that almost tore the people of, in that state apart. So this is to tell you that it can never even be the, the president of Nigeria or hence he will cause problem among the, the religious people. Because Arabia Shala is just a tool in the hands of a workman. He is only a spoiler. He is not on his own. Someone is drumming while he dances. That is the thing. You know, people were saying that I don't think these politicians are in full possession of their faculty. Is this the right time to be fighting for 2023 presidency when COVID-19 has become a beast that refuses to be termed? Our economy in a sorry, is in a sorry mess, sorry state. Just to mention a few local and global burning issues that need urgent attention. So viewers, what is your own take? What do you think about this news? Kindly drop your comment at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, I want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We we'll say God bless you. And if you are yet to subscribe, please kindly press the subscription button below. And don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will be the first person to watch our latest news. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.